All right, welcome <laughs> to another video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So, one of the things that they are trying to do is to try and justify what they are doing to us TIs, right? Now, what they are not telling their sheeps is that what they have been doing covertly before they overtly start targeting you or before they microchip you or put you into whatever experiment, non-consensual experiment they want to, right? That way, when you think about it, or that way, if any type of investigation goes on, right, it will never be about what they've done to you, but in terms of what you may say or your behavior, right? So this is one of the ways in which they try to get away with doing what they're doing, all right? On top of that, all right, silent sound spectrum. We know for a fact that it exists. We know for a fact that they can put voices, suggestions, basically co-op a person's consciousness um, or mind and induce speech, right? Because the voice that you hear in your head from these things are your own inner voice. Unlike V2K, otherwise known as voice to skull, in which you are hearing uh, different voices as if a person was talking to you, right? But you hear these things uh, through, though you, uh, though you may hear them internally in your mind, you can differentiate the voices. Whereas silent sound, what for the dog do to my brother? Whereas silent sound, see a nigga, because right, they gotta have the police out here, All right? I tell you, it's always, it's always convenient when I, something when I, particularly after I expose them in a certain way, they'll bring the police. And what they do, confiscate and shit? <laughs> right <laughs> so anyhow um as i say so with silent sound spectrum there is no defense mechanism against it even if you are aware of it right they will manipulate you still maybe to not the degree as if you didn't know because this let's let's put things in a common sense way right for example And I always bring up the, uh, the, the the crack era, right? In which you had uh, CIA involvement, okay, whether directly or indirectly, into the influx of crack cocaine into the black community, right? Then they embedded themselves within the DEA and in the local state police departments i mean come on we've seen the history we know the history we know they continue to do this particularly also the fbi so when you look at peaceful protests that's taking place <clears throat> it is the fbi that sends in criminals to start shit start throwing bottles even police departments we've seen videos where a undercover police officer was recognized and he was throwing rocks bottles he was giving out pranks to people wooden pranks so they can assault other people right they're the ones that are causing this but yet no one is holding them responsible no one no one is holding them responsible okay and on top of that during those protests when, because again, they use psychological manipulation. So they may say, well, this person did this or did that, whatever. Yeah, but you psychologically manipulate them. <laughs> Ampl 
and and put it and had to like stop a bit because you know this and because like i said uh when these people commit acts of crimes they get arrested but they never talk about what it is that the the, the, the fbi did or the police did and as a matter of fact they don't even charge those officers who also vandalize property right this is what they'll do and we know again another fact right another fact the fbi particularly goes into communities of color okay looking for black men who specifically have mental issues which means that they're in the database of the mental health system they're in the database of or the computers of your psychologist, psychiatrist, and they single out certain people. They know specifically who it is that they're looking for. But again, this is something that we don't want to talk about. This is something that, and, and the fact that you have judges that are convicting these men who clearly, right, documented have mental issue or learning disability, and then the FBI manipulates them. And again, they all, those men always say, well, look, I am not going to do this if there are people around. Okay? So it shows you that they, they don't want to hurt anybody. Right? But what does the FBI do? Oh, yeah, nobody's going to be around. It's going to be empty. Says himself. Right? Promising them hundreds of thousands of dollars because these men, again, they're poor. You know, they're you know, destitute. So when Bob Marley says uh, the Babylon system is a vampire, sucking the blood of the sufferer, he's absolutely correct. Now many people don't quite understand that. This is why, you know, Bob Marley has his own, uh, 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 there's a class that actually studies his lyrics, right? I forget which college it is. Because the, those are in power, the state, will always use the people at the bottom to do all sorts of criminal acts and will also use those people to fund their lifestyles, to fund whatever projects they want to fund, okay? I mean, you know, the bus fare is what? almost three dollars right and the bus service in terms of uh not the bus drivers you know a, a lot of them are pretty pretty good they're pretty nice you know they're very decent people some of them are not okay but the buses itself they're atrocious okay you get on them the suspension is so bad but yet the the people who are within the offices of the mta who are running the mta they're not taking public transportation, okay? They're paying themselves uh, generous salaries, all right? And when they have surpluses, they don't even give their employees a proper raise. But yet, they can have them do a shit like this, targeting us as TIs. It just shows you how powerful psychological manipulation is, how powerful psych- um, uh, indoctrination is. And this is something that we have to take seriously, but we don't. Because we're conditioned not to take things like this seriously. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.